10 to 12 million rand. That's how much Angelo Grizzi says controversial company Bosasa donated to the ANC's top six. The company's former COO has also told the state capture inquiry he's at risk because his ex-bosses are so well connected. Now, Grizzi's witness protection has been escalated after he received a warning call and a letter in Isizulu was left on his windscreen. Well, he's due back at the inquiry today. Erin Bates covering that for us. She's already in Parktown for us. Erin, a very good morning to you. So quite a bit we heard from Angelo Agritzi yesterday, uh, especially what he had to say about uh, apparent donations to the ANC's top six and then talking about his own personal safety as well. So where are we expecting him to pick up this morning? Yes, Yveka, perhaps the most important thing to come out of yesterday afternoon into evening is the fact that Nombula Mokonyane issued a statement through her Environmental Affairs Department indicating, one, that she only got notice about her mention in Agritzi's supplementary affidavit late on uh, Wednesday night and that she intends to apply to cross-examine him here at the Commission also to deliver her own evidence and to call witnesses. And uh, this is quite a significant development considering what we've already heard and some of the further details that Agritzi gave on the alleged hampers that he says she received over a 10-year period, including alcohol and meat, once per year over 10 years. Also the alleged 50,000 rand cash bribes. He says he was present twice during their handover and which he said he would uh, routinely see and know were being packed into those grey money bags uh, for dispatching to Mokonyane. Uh, you know, it's all good and well for Angelo Grizzi, Erin, to come through and say all of these things and, you know, we, we all uh, sort of raise our eyebrows at them. But where's the proof of all of this? Or where's he saying the proof of all of this is? Very good point. In fact, when he raised that uh, claim, that astounding claim, Yuveka, about 10 to 12 million rand checks being issued to the ANC top six as donations, the Deputy Chief Justice stopped him there and said, if you have personal information on this, be sure to hand it over to the Commission. There, Agritzi said, well, I need the documents indicating that he's, uh, you know, lacking certain information and a paper trail, really, on some of these uh, uh, allegations of malfeasance reasons at Bursasa that he wants to acquire and accrue to hand over to the inquiry's legal team. And there Zondo said it's the job of the investigators and the legal team to gather this inf evidence. We want it and you need to discuss that with them so that you can make that information available. And then, interesting, Yuveka, Agritzi spoke about a raid that one of the uh, state authorities did on a prawn plant in the Eastern Cape on the coastline. He claims that a reporter phoned him to say that people on site excavators were digging holes the size of whales, although I suspect that's hyperbole. And he said if anybody had bothered to actually talk to him, Agritzi, he could have told them that the computers they were looking for, which were allegedly destroyed and buried on that plant, had long been moved to a different location. He then disclosed that location, the garage he claimed of some person linked to Bosasa, and said looking at his watch, well, they're probably still in the garage now. Who knows that they will be by the end of today? indicating that he has a lot of information that perhaps the authorities aren't gathering from him. He is an accused in a legal case involving Bosasa mm. in that 2009 report and also indicating that he does lack critical information and documents he would like to hand over to the Commission. And so far, I mean, it, it would be his word against all of the people he, he's implicated. And, uh, as, and we've been asking this question since, uh, since this inquiry began. Is Gavin Watson, where is he? What are the attempts to get to hear from him, to get his side of the story? Because it's certainly being painted, or he's being painted as a person who ruled with fear. Absolutely. We heard that from Priet, Piet Venter earlier this week. We've heard it from Angelo Agritzi, who time and again yesterday reiterated claims he's made before that um, Gavin Watson is persona non grata. Gavin Watson is the quote-unquote skellum who taught Agritzi everything and he knew, taught him all the tricks of the trade at Bosasa, and uh, that Gavin Watson was responsible on deciding who would receive bribes, uh, Agritzi alleges, from Bosasa. So a critical question. 
question. And interesting that uh, Gavin Watson is not among the people who have applied to cross-examine Agritzi. Business Day, for example, reporting only three people have applied to cross-examine him. None of them the political heavyweights he mentioned, the likes of Vincent Smith, the likes of Nomvula Mokonyane, Dudu Mieni, and the former president Jacob Gedleishle Kiza Zuma. And so those names are not forward yet to cross-examine uh, Agritzi, even the name of Nomvula Mokonyane, although she has now indicated through that ministerial statement that she intends to, she wants to exercise her rights, and she's aggrieved at the fact that she says initially the inquiry didn't follow its own rules and give her notice that she'd be mentioned when he first took the stand in January. Okay, so it should be another interesting day with Angelo Grizzi back there this morning. Aaron Bates will keep us posted on what else he has to say, what's going to come from him at this inquiry. Thank you very much.